Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at addition and subtraction with matrices. When we add or subtract one matrix with another, we do so entry-wise. What we mean by that is that we take the entry in a particular position. Let's say the entry in row one, column one, and we either add or subtract, depending on the operation, with the entry in the second matrix in that same position, row one, column one. We then take the result of that and place it in that row one, column one position of our answer matrix. So here we would get that A11 plus B11 was equal to some C11. We then do that for each entry. So we would take A12 plus B12 and that would give us C12 and so on until we had done every entry in our matrix. So because this is the way that we add and subtract matrices, we can only add and subtract matrices that share the same dimensions. So we need matrices that have the same number of terms in the same locations. So we can see that if we try to add down here, we have a two by two matrix with a two by three matrix. When we got to entry B13, or the entry in row one, column three of the second matrix, there is no item or entry from the first matrix to add that with. Therefore, this addition is not possible. So if we are adding or subtracting matrices, they have to have the same dimensions. Okay, let's check out some examples of this process. So here we wanna add or subtract these matrices if possible. So first we wanna check, is it possible? Well, check to see if your matrices have identical dimensions. So our first matrix has one, two rows by one, two, three columns. We have a two by three. Our second matrix, again, has one, two rows by one, two, three columns. So we're trying to add a two by three with a two by three. Since our dimensions match, we can do that. And also our result will be a two by three. So we can kind of set up for that. So to fill in this entry in row one, column one, we're gonna take the entry from the first matrix in row one, column one, and add it with the second entry, or sorry, the entry in the second matrix in row one, column one. So that would be one plus negative one, which is zero. For our next entry in that row, so row one, column two, same idea. Two plus three makes five. Continuing this process, four plus two makes six for entries in row one, column three. Five plus three makes eight for row two, column one. Zero plus four makes four for row two, column two. And then last but not least, in row two, column three, we have eight plus negative four, which is four. So here is the result of adding this first two by three matrix, one, two, four, five, zero, eight, with this second two by three matrix. All right, let's check out another one. Add or subtract the following if possible. So that if possible says check the dimensions. So here in our first matrix, we have one, two, three rows. So this is a three by one, two, three columns. So we have a three by three. And we are trying to add to that another, let's see, one, two, three rows by one, two, three columns. So we have a three by three adding to a three by three. So since those dimensions match, this is possible and our result will have the same dimensions. We will have a three by three to match. So three rows with three entries each. All right, to fill in 
row one, column one, we'll add the entries from each matrix in that spot. So three plus zero makes three. Continuing along row one, six plus negative one makes five. Continuing along row one, five plus one makes six. Since we've completed row one, let's move to row two. Taking the first entry in row two from each matrix, negative one plus six is five. Negative three plus zero is negative three. Negative two plus three is positive one. And that means we finished row two. Finishing up in row three, negative five plus two makes negative three. Negative one plus one makes zero and zero plus negative three makes negative three. So here is our solution to a three by three plus this three by three. All right, in our next example, let's take a look at what, if anything, is different if we are subtracting matrices. So really the only difference here is the operation. We still first need to check to see that our matrices share the same dimensions. So here we have a one, two, by two columns, so a two by two, and we are subtracting, this one has one, two rows by one, two columns, so a two by two minus a two by two, that is possible, and it will result in a two by two. All right, so now we're going to subtract the first, I, first matrix minus the second, entry-wise. So for row one, column one, we'll take two minus five, that will give us negative three in row one, column one of our answer. Negative two minus three will be negative five in row one, column two. Moving on to row two, negative four minus one will make negative five for row two, column one. And finally, for row two, column two, zero minus negative two. Remember, minus a negative is like plus, so that'll give us two. All right, so there we have it. Subtraction looks a lot like addition. Just remember that we are subtracting that second value. All right, here's another one. Add or subtract the following matrices if possible. So check out your dimensions. See if you can do it. This first one is a three row by two column. So three by two minus. Second one, we have three rows, two columns. So we can do this operation and it will result in the same size matrix, another three by two. So let's do this by rows. 14 minus zero in row one, column one, gives us 14. Row one, column two, five minus negative five. Remember, minus a negative plays like a plus, so that would be 10. Column two, negative six minus five will give us a negative 11. Seven minus negative six minus a negative acts like a plus, so that will be 13. 2 minus 18 is a negative 16 for row 3, column 1. And last but not least, row 3, column 2, 12 minus 20 makes a negative 8. So here's our result, our 3 by 2 answer matrix. All right, final example, add or subtract if possible. So let's check it out. Check our dimensions. We have one, two, three rows here by one, two, three, four columns. So a three by four in our first one. And we're trying to add to that a one, two, three, four rows by one, two, three columns. So a four by three. Here, although the dimensions share the same numbers, the number of rows is different and the number of columns is different. So these two matrices are not the same size and therefore they cannot be added 
So this is not possible. All right, guys, that does it for this video on addition and subtraction with matrices. Until next time, we'll see you later.